Hello and welcome back. Today we're making birria picadillo nachos with a velvety nacho cheese. So if you're having problems with clumpy cheese, mm. you're gonna love this recipe because it's super helpful. Now let's get started by making our birria sauce. To your blender, you're gonna add eight guajillos that have been soaking in three cups of hot water for about 10 minutes. In this bowl, I have one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of Mexican oregano, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground clove, eight ounces of tomato sauce, and now you're gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done. Place your Instant Pot on saute and allow it to warm up for about five minutes. Add a little bit of olive oil. Next, you're gonna add two pounds of ground beef and start breaking up your ground beef. Continue cooking your beef and make sure to come and stir periodically. And if you wanna skip this step and cook it on your stove top, you can, but if you want easy cleanup, just keep it in here and take your time. Once your ground beef is cooked and crumbly, you're gonna add one carrot. And don't look at me like that. Nobody is gonna know anything about this carrot, but it is gonna enhance the flavor. Your blended sauce, three bay leaves, two garlic cloves, one tomato and one small onion. Give that a loving mix. And now you're gonna pressure cook for eight minutes with a slow release. In order to achieve a velvety nacho cheese, you're gonna to need to shred your own cheese. You wanna shred eight ounces of Monterey Jack cheese, and you're gonna add half a tablespoon of cornstarch, only to the white cheese. The cheddar you just wanna keep normal. Then you're gonna shred 16 ounces of mild cheddar cheese. Place your burner on a medium heat and add one tablespoon of butter. Once your butter melts, you're gonna add two cups of skim milk, six ounces of evaporated milk, and you're gonna to continue to cook until you reach a scalding boil. Once you reach a scalding boil, you're gonna go ahead and place your temperature on a low heat. And then you're gonna add your Monterey Jack cheese. Once your white cheese has melted, you're gonna start adding your medium cheddar. Once your cheese melts, you're gonna to continue to cook on a low heat for a good six to eight minutes or until you achieve your desired thickness. And make sure not to get ahead of yourselves and raise the temperature at all. Keep it on a low temperature because if you put it on a higher heat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cause your cheese to curl and you don't wanna do that. We want a velvety smooth nacho cheese. And give or take six minutes, you have a beautiful and delicious velvety nacho cheese. And boom, done, our birria picadillo is ready. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh... Mm. Look away because it's about to get dangerous. Once they get nice and soaked, I help it with a crispier chip. Me la como. Mm. Gusto. You're such a sweet helper. Wow, this is so good. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.